everybody, hey guys, welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming. I'm Easy, and today is a great day to play one of our favorite all time classic games here uh, with Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball on the super, super duper NES. This is an extreme classic. So let's get underway set up. Uh, we'll see what we'll be diving into playing. I was thinking about maybe doing a season or something, but I think I might save that for a different game. This one, maybe we'll just run through, do some cool stuff. It's a little choppy here. Looking choppy. We'll see, might need to crank some of these sounds up. I do like to hear that, uh... SNES, you know, they got some good, good tunes in the background there. I mean, it's a little repetitive, I guess, but... Alright, alright, alright! favorites. <laughs> Gotta roll them. That good one. <laughs> Boy, we spent many, many, many a night Playing this guy. <laughs> playing this game. Golden. I remember a lot of these guys. I know that, I'm pretty sure that was Ozzy Guillen. I know this is Robin Ventura. This is one of my favorite. He is an incredible defender. Oh, shh. Great third baseman. Frank Thomas. It's a golden era. I used to love baseball back then.
numbers left and right. Chicago defense, though. That's what you want. You gotta have those good arms. say that was good. two dang <laughs> hits and they were home runs. They hit the ball in the park, I get it. Schmack talking. I gotta get some frickin' runs. Ugh, can I DH for my DH? Alright, come on, me. Where's my 
Hey, if I call shenanigans on that. stick of the day and I hit it right on. That's why this pitcher is so strong. 102 into the 8. Pretty solid. I mean, my pitch count's probably pretty low, but. Hey, you got some hits. I gotta get this lineup back around. <coughs> Cutting it down to the wire here. I need Mr. Carlos Baerga here to uh, really could have used the double play. Almost overrun it. He's got a little bit of a stick, actually. Ah. Ow. Suck. Ow. Didn't go as planned at all. baseball right there. I told you that's my guy. Come on, let's 
Let's not go out in the field. Oh, does it have the distance? Oh, that does. Oh, <laughs> walk off, baby. And that's good. <laughs> that's a good start right there. Cheers. Cheers. Pretty cool. White Sox are superlicious, man. They are cool. I guess we have, I might start a season after all because the season's fun. So, but we'll do it with my unlikely team here. It's pretty much my secret team, I guess. Uh, this is the other other team that I personally use for uh, you know playing playing against people and stuff. They're just a real sleeper and. But they have what it takes. They have like some just really good, good, good people. So let's start a new season. The new proposed. Oh baby, that's the Florida Marlins. We'll show you some stuff. Some good players on the bench, though. Griffey with a, it doesn't necessarily, you know, have a super crazy in-depth season and stuff, but, it, you know, it gives you an option to play, you know, like a whole season, keep stats, it has some bugs on that era, you know, sometimes your home runs and stuff erase if you have too many home runs by certain periods of time and stuff, but for the most part, you can uh, kind of like keep your statistics and, and stuff, but 
I think you can. I think you can only play one. One season. Can't yeah, actually remember <laughs> what happens after you finish a season. We have finished a few, so we'll see. We'll see. Fastest man alive. Woo, baby. The one guy you can steal bases with. It's wild. That's why this team is always the spin. They're my favorite. They're my go to. Opportunity should have had, should have had it. See the cool, the blazing speed of Mr. Chuck Carr there. had the stick with the third baseman. Uh, that was bad play by me. That one's gonna cost him, Jim. Bases. Oh, it's crummy. Nice. Way to put it down, crummy. What's happening, Dizzy? Oh, shh. Get there, get there. Oh, you, you loser. We are dude, playing. This is one of my all time favorite games. Oh, the pitcher just screwed that up. Come on, come on. There you go, mauling and lurking. I was just at the mall yesterday. Got a lot, a lot accomplished. Got to look at some toys while I was there. <laughs> Get one of those mall pretzels if they got them there. They just smell them. They're so good. Stokes. The bunch master. Oh shit. Oh, I had him. He's one of the only guys here that can get out of the pickle. Ah, uh, so there's one stolen base, one caught stealing now. Bum deal. Dude, this is the this is the jam. Honestly, it's it's like the ultimate cross of of arcade and and major league like simulation. 
You know, it has the real team, it has the real players' stats, and, and the abilities are based on real players. They just, you know, they didn't have the names, but you could actually go in and alter all of the names to make it correct if you, uh, you know, really wanted to, so that's a cool feature. Just gives you that ultimate, so then you can play fast, fun. We used to play this a ton, like, competitively. And, oh yeah, dude, happy Sunday indeed. We're gonna be making some chicken wings later. We had a lot of fun, oh. You'll like this. There was a there was this cool art show. We we know some people in town. Anyways, story short, uh, I'll talk more about that later. But we went to an art gala thing they had for video game art, and it was all themed. We our buddy had some arcades down there and stuff. But I got this pretty cool. It's a like a Donkey Kong, a vinyl that's cut into the Donkey Kong shape uh, with the with the Donkey Kong level in the background. It was pretty cool. Like they had a lot of uh, fun little things and, and different. That's really actually cool artwork, uh, duck hunt stuff. It's pretty cool. But yeah, that was it was. We had a lot of fun last night. So it's like actually kind of a lazy, fun Sunday. We got a lot accomplished for, you know, our, our wedding, uh, which is two exactly two months. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's kind of like a feel good day. Sit, sit. That's going. I, my defense stuff's pretty good. Al later has been pretty good. Picture, picture, picture. Oh, he's there, he's there. He get there. No. <laughs> I don't know how I got that first deal off. Uh, usually, if you can get one, you can get the rest. That was close. You'll see though as we as we play. I don't know if it changes. Some days you have bad days and stuff, but maybe. But I think in this one it's still it's pretty consistent. But yeah, you'll get teams where you you'll be able to steal. I think I've even taken third. So. Bad armed catchers. Doesn't matter. I can't put together. 
together a string of hits for a run. <laughs> swing, bat a bat a swing. Ugh. Come on, Florida. What's happening, my my friend? How is your Sunday going? Oh, there we go, baby. Oh, you're kidding me. Finally get some runs on the board, though. Playing some, uh, I think older matches or relive stuff earlier. It was, it was cool. It was getting me all pumped up. That's what it's about, right there. good matches dude it's it's all building up good too because I think SummerSlam's gonna be freaking awesome I can't wait for it all give me it all <laughs> come on crummy oh, where's mr. C at dude this is classic Down, buddy. Nice. Ow. All right, dude. You gotta actually bat this time. Oh, it don't matter, dude. He does it all. He's the man. Sneaky gun, that was a bad decision. My bad, my bad. At least I get another run out of it. Distance. Oh shit. Come hey. on, guys. I mean, you know, me. <laughs> Come on, myself. Oh shit. See what happens. Sadness washed over the dude.
tickets, we might be able to get there. Here we go, Marlins. What's happening? What's going on, JC? Playing a little. Come on and off. Yeah. It's been a busy week. Had a lot of stuff done for the wedding this week. Finished up some work. Ready to get back in the groove. forward to Game Boy week because I just picked up some cool Game Boy games. <laughs> I think I, I got a couple of cool things, uh, like box games on Game Boy Color or something. And then, yeah, I got, like, actually a really a pretty cool game uh, from the Ultima series. one too because there's it's Ultima and there's Runes of Virtue 1 this is uh, Ultima Runes of Virtue 2 which is uh, which is pretty cool I have I haven't played it at all I just got it last night also at this art show I was showing off my uh, my cool Pac-Man <laughs> we had a there was a video game themed art show uh, that had some a lot of fun going on a lot of cool guys that we uh, know and are, are involved with around. What's happening, Rolando? Happy Sunday, my friend. Just showing off some goodies and playing around with the Marlins. Trying to steal some bases. Maybe throw a no-hitter. Yeah, the it was a vinyl... Uh, you, I don't know if you fully saw it, but a vinyl cut out like Donkey Kong over uh, kind of like a a picture of the first level. I said the only thing that was missing uh, was they needed my my score, my my highest score up there for uh, under high score. But other than that, you know, it was, it was pretty cool. <laughs> um, not too bad. We had a super super busy week uh, and week like yesterday, and today is just kind of like uh, just just feel excited to not have to do anything. Um, basically, just eat, relax. <laughs> I, I was coming up with a few different options to stream, um, and I was gonna play some like beat 'em ups, uh, Batman and Robin and stuff, but I was like, I don't know if I want to be that intense. <laughs> so, just kind of came with the uh, some good old fashioned. This is like one of our favorite games ever from our childhood. What's happening, D Chill? It's going down, my man. This is playing. In my opinion, unless you know you're a hardcore baseball fan that loves the uh, simulation style baseball games, which I, I enjoy playing those, but as an overall game, this is one of the best games that you can play. Uh, 
baseball wise. I don't know. It's just got such a good feel of, you know, you can kind of play that season. It's, it's, it's major league teams. It's you know, major league statistics. Oh, get there, Flagers. You Flagers. Yeah, this is like one of my best for sure. Dude, bases loaded are uh, are awesome. And I actually have one. So I played all, I have all the ones, one through four on Nintendo. Uh, and I have Super Bases Loaded. And uh, a lot of that jazz. But this is the one right here. I never really played that this much, and it's bases loaded, 96 double header on the PlayStation, um, and I, I was wondering how it played uh, and if it was good. So some of the PlayStation versions, like there's a PlayStation version of Tech Mobile that's you actually have to go in and change a setting to make it um, like like old school, or else it's kind of like you know new school. Actually, since I have it right here, I don't know why. Oh, I was gonna play it. This is one of my favorite baseball games on the PlayStation. It's super like polygon style, but the the seasons and stuff on this are, are awesome. You have like hot and cold streaks, and I mean it's full it's full on baseball on this, but it's 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 pretty cool. It kind of gives you a little bit of a feel of the arcade, I think, uh, because the guys are so polygoned out. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, dude, Tecmo made some cool baseball games, yeah. I and in fact they're they're pretty solid. I think they have like a at least one on the NES and a couple on the SNES. I'm trying to think, I think they had a basketball game. All the Tecmo games are pretty decent. And I think a lot of them are just called like Tecmo Super Insert Random Sport here. Dude, on the NES, maybe even on SNES, but there's wrestling, basketball, baseball, football. I'm trying to think. There's like some weird ones too. I think Jaleco makes a pro sport hockey. That's really good. in here trying to look up through these lights at <laughs> all the games. <laughs> I know, I this we used to play this super competitively. Uh, I feel like I, I could probably, I want to get, I can't remember if we've ever really thrown, I know this game is notorious for not letting you get no hitters, but I feel like I, I might have done it. Hell, I've thrown, I've thrown four no hitters in real life. I had to have been able to throw one on this baseball game. Ah, oh shit, that dropped. <laughs> True story. When I was in like younger, I don't know, when you're ten or twelve, little league or something. Uh, I was playing. I was pitching against a team. They weren't very. Oh, bridge. That ain't good. I was pitching against a team. They weren't. They weren't uh, very good, and and they had a girl on their team, uh, or a couple girls or something. And um, I was pitching a perfect game, and right towards the end, I. I ended up, I don't even know why I was trying so hard, I ended up throwing like a big curve and just nailing one of the one of the girls right in the arm and making her cry. <laughs> I ended up only getting a no-hitter. <laughs> and I was so bummed. <laughs> Old experiences with easy. 
No, but I threw a, I threw a couple in in high school. Those ones were much more memorable. <laughs> <laughs> I like it was the worst it was one of the worst feelings like I think we only you only play five or seven innings or something like that you know it's like the end of the I mean it, the game was basically over and I could have just piped fastballs and I just hooked her man and I was just like wah wah I, I should have I had it <laughs> what happens. I know, that's how I, that's exactly how I felt. And then it just makes you look worse too, because it's like, who has enough control in a Little League game to not walk anybody, even if they are better or whatever, the whole entire game and then just randomly hit like the last batter. <laughs> That's like a... Oh, man. No, 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 no. I just remem I just remembered it is all. It reminded me. I, I usually tried to block it out. I always, <laughs> I always think that I, I never got a perfect game. I used to be the big K master, though. I racked up. For however many innings you've had, I averaged like 12 per 9 or something. Gave up a few home runs, though. It's a bummer. Especially when they're really good people and it's like you're in some sort of duel with them and then they hit a home run and you're like, you just, like, oh, man. At least if you can strike them out though a couple times or get them good, it's all good. Win the game, I guess. <laughs> I know I've always, uh, it sucks too because I have a lot of the footage and stuff, I, I haven't got around to it, I, I'm putting together a, uh, I own every baseball game on the NES, and I was going to put together uh, some sort of video about that, that cause I, and I actually have some VHS footage of me back in uh, high school hitting like some home runs and some striking some people out and stuff, so I was super excited actually uh, to weave in all that footage. And I have some cool memorabilia. My grandpa played for the Pittsburgh Pirates, if I never said that. <laughs> he was a pitcher uh, back in the late 30s and went to war and uh, pitched in the 40s and stuff. together. That's why I have, well this is, I like this hat because it's old school, but most of my hats and my, my baseball gear is all Pirates gear, even though I'm a West Coaster. Chuck Carr can get there. <laughs> Pepperidge Farm remembers. Alright, we're gonna have to rely on some relievers. I need to get something started, maybe. Let's see, do I have anybody worth? Do I got anybody worth a squirt? Huh. 
Not really. Not really at all. Oh, yeah. It wasn't worth it. Should've went with the fast guy. Come on, buddy. Super bunt. So they got my steel in down. There we go. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Boom. Kenny the Jet Rodriguez. Reminds me of a... <laughs> what is that, Sandlot? Oh, get there. Nice. That's what I needed right there, baby. Get there. Go, Crummy. Got a hit parade on right now. It's got him in that cycle. There's a lot of bad... I mean, it's fun. It's definitely... This is a great battle game. Uh, oh, shit. To play your friends and, and stuff with. Um, there are definitely some flaws uh, when playing the computer. Oh wait, this is still my pinch hitter, I think. That's cool. Uh, when you're playing the computer, so uh, you you try to do things, you know, like obviously no hitters and play the best you can and all that shit. Nice. Richards comes through his second time around. It's a bomb deal. So why do we need a reliever? Just use a sling of these guys, dude. They're good. Use what you got. This is not one of those games where it... Oh, shit. Go foul. Ah, they gave that shit. Oh, see, I should maybe... I didn't try this guy's... Uh... I need to maybe try stealing on this guy again. I thought... I. For some reason, I think I was playing a full season. You play a different team pretty much every game in this short season. That's good to know. Schmackety. Man, I hope you had a good game this game. I can't remember who got all the big hits. Ooh, I think Harrison had a big game. Been having a hell of a 
season so far. Can you smell? I don't know if you're still there, D-Chill. I was showing off earlier. I can't wait for uh, uh, Game Boy Week to start. I had some really cool game. I just got some Game Boy stuff that was pretty cool. Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Was excited. Have to play some of that. I got my Game Boy Player. GameCube. Oh, come on. Give me a big wall. Sub that pitcher. That belly itcher. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Good as time as any to try out some extra bats. Might as well go with the seven power guy. Oops. See if he can hit a dinger. He did not get all of that one. I like how it auto does this though because I didn't want to do it. Uh, we won't need the save guy tonight. Well, as of now, so we'll bring in this guy. Bingo was his name, oh. Dang, I needed a hit there. I really wanted to try to steal against uh, Mike Piazza. Yep, sir. Who's the old first baseman? It's oh, Mark Grace. That's Cubs. It was a. Uh... Oh, why can't I think of it? Who's there, baseball fans? Who was that first baseman? Dodgers. Ninety-three. Arrows. Yeah, yeah, you don't get the save. You're giving up way too many home runs, though. That's for shizzle. Dude, the Giants. Am I home team? Yeah, I need a playing. This is probably the closest team to us. Not a real 
Crystal Barber here. Hopefully I'll be good and prepared and get a good matchup for when uh, Mr. Al later comes back around. Ah. Had to do it the hard way, but get the run the hard way, too. Giving up the old DP. Ah. It's all right. Runs on the board. Mr. Pickford. How do you do? Of course, the infamous Barry Bones. Oh, shit. Get on your horse, Chuck. Come on, ref. Um, blue. Oh, hurt man wearing. I like how he's, he's one of the big style guys, but he might have some power, actually. They take stuff into consideration at bats, all that. All that good jazz. Let's go, Marlins. Oh boy, that ain't good. Well, let's go, Marlins, let's go. Come on, Crummy. Steve Ferry, you know Crummy, dude. Dude, I've been waiting for you, man. Uh, it is so nostalgic playing this. It's great. And it's our actual freaking copy. It's like the Santa Cruz copy, faded label. Uh, that we had to go by the way to tell the story. So we played this tons and so much when we were kids. Basically had like our own league about it. And so we went on like a vacation and we just had to bring it and play it competitively. And somehow we forgot it. So we went down to the local like store I don't even. I don't even think it was a GameStop. That ain't good. And we found it, and we had to buy it. We bought it for like super cheap. It has this little sticker, I think, for like four or five bucks. And, and that's my copy I've had ever since, dude. <laughs> you gotta say something that's totally fucked up. Why? Hey, why is that? <laughs> oh, come on! It should have been the first baseman. Dude, my first game I played just a warm up with uh, Chicago for the fun of it. And pretty much I threw like a two hitter or something, but gave up two home runs. And then in the bottom of the ninth inning with two outs, I pinch hit Bo Jackson, got a base hit, hit a home run with Robin Ventura, and then hit a walk off home run with Frank Thomas back to back. Pretty nice. Right, dude? It's so cool that that's this copy and everything. I can't believe it. Just totally reminds me. It probably... I, I'm surprised it doesn't have, like, change, like, names and stuff. Yeah. 
Dude, I've gotten a few stolen bases already. The only time that he hasn't got out <laughs> uh, was I one time I actually tried to bat with him. But other than that, he's been killing it this year. Dude, you know that was the jam. Ah. The pick. Done, baby. Did I miss some Kings of the Beach? I know Kenny would, would love to play that. We'll have to make new teams and a new rivalry. Maybe get Lance involved. Dude, this is... I was just saying that. Like, I mean, I was a big sports fan, and I enjoyed some of the simulation styles games, but... This is probably like our favorite baseball game of all time, and it's one of the best that actually combines like arcade style with, uh, you know, at least major league teams, statistics, you know, season play and stuff like that. So it's this is like, this is definitely the jam. And welcome back, Mega Dan. I was hope I knew this might draw your attention. I played my first game with the uh, the White Sox. I remember watching your season. They're they're actually one of my go-to teams. Uh, I play with. I, I always loved loved them, and they're they're pretty solid in this game. This is my other go-to team. I think they're they're a little hidden, and that's the uh, the Florida Marlins. Statistically, they have what works in a video game. I'm uh, I'm running like a twenty. I'm running a short season. I was thinking about doing. I didn't. I just forgot how awesome, fun, and addictive this game is. I think I started the 26 or 7 game season, and now I'm like 3 or 4 games in, and I'm just like, I'm just so excited to be playing it. Yeah, dude, Florida was always my sleeper. I I enjoyed because in a in a single game setting they have a it's like Al Lighter pitching, and he's real good in the starting, and then they have like Rob Nin you can bring in. And some other good relievers and stuff. But then they just have a solid defense. And a couple guys with good sticks and stuff. But I, I love they have Chuck Carr, who I know it says he only has a 9 or 10 or whatever speed, but he is by far, it's like, I, I, I've stolen more bases with him. And I feel like there's only a few guys like Kenny Lofton, Otis Nixon, uh, like, like Vince Coleman or Vance Vince, whoever that was. There's like a few guys that you can really steal the bases with. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, I'm i thinking about it. It's such a melt. Like, I have so much fun. We used to uh, play this a ton in our college days and made like a drinking game out of it where... We, we weren't allowed to give up hits, like, even to the other, the, the opposing player. So it was a pretty fun, fun game that you could really, <laughs> let's just put it this way. Home runs and grand slams started resulting in, like, beer chugs and stuff. <laughs> but no, we used to, man, I, this is the one game I, it's always been a go-to, fun to play. I, I would enjoy to play this whole season. What, how long of a season did you play? Uh, when you just did your last one, Dan. Oh, you, okay. See, that's cool. I, it would be fun, because the games are actually fast enough to where y you, you know, it would take you less than you think to, to get through 162. I know there's the, uh, that's another reason I think I like being Florida, because there's kind of that if you hit too many home runs before the all-star break they basically get erased <laughs> so florida never has a real huge guy hitter so i'm like <laughs> it works for me oh he's there he's there do the giants are are they're solid offense and they have a 
few shit. Good pitchers, I know for sure. And I think they have like some of the teams that I mean, if you you know you switch them around a little bit, like I switched one of the guys. I think the first baseman and the catcher, like position, but. The Giants might have some good people because the catcher might be like a wasted arm. And I think the first... No, Will Clark's on the Rangers in this. I was going to say, their, their Rangers are a super stacked team. Chicago is like my favorite team to play with in a solo-like setting, but I think Texas is probably like the overall most stacked team in this game. Yeah, you stupid glitch. I know that's that's actually the other reason I picked this. I, I can't remember what team Otis Nixon is on. It might be the Red Sox. Oh, shit. And then... Yeah, and then I'm pretty sure, like, Kenny Lofton. I can't remember if... Is... I don't know if Dion is in... If he is, if he's fast enough in this, though. I don't know if they give him a 10. Isn't Dion Neon on the Braves? Oh shit. Yeah, Whack Jack is definitely. Oh shit. Uh... Nope. Right, so many good players in here that I only remember from there. Oh, son of a gun from their, their name on here. <laughs> Who's on the pine? Not Whack Jack. Whack Jack's like... He's a four hitter for whatever team he plays. Oh, I know who you're... I, maybe are you, are you talking about on the Rangers? That's right. I'm trying to think of who that guy is. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dion. He's on the bench. He's, uh... D yeah. It, it is. They. is. I'm trying to think if they have... There's, a, there's some other good leadoff guys, but they're just not as good. It's like, Lenny, you know... I'm trying to think of who else was super fast. Dude, the Montreal Expos are another sleeper team, so... If you're ever playing in, like, a league or something like that, I guess... <laughs> um, where they ban some of the top teams... Montreal, in a single-game session, they have, like, Pedro Martinez... And then they have like an incredible offensive roster. It's like Larry Walker, Moises Salou, uh, Delono DeShields, and Marquise Grissom, and some other power hitter. Some big guy, maybe even Vladimir Guerrero or something like that. Oh no, it's that guy that he, Rondell White. Or something. He was like, I don't think he had like a super full career. Hey. Dion? <laughs> he, no. To do what? Hey. Oh, game in the same day. Yeah, he might be the only... I thought maybe he tried to... Took off his skate and tried to stab somebody. Oh, I might have been able to steal that. I wish I knew how fast. I don't know who's on base. I tried to take off my skate and stab somebody. I know because at the same time, well, of course, Bo did, but uh, Ricky Jackson or Sanders, one of those guys, I think it was Ricky Sanders, played baseball for the Reds. And the Redskins, eh?
Steve Reich. Steve Reich. I like this. It was. <laughs> well, now it, well, it should gives me more time because eventually I gotta th get that no hitter in there. So maybe I should just start playing a season. I feel like I'm all these challenge accepted. Mr. C talked me into playing. I got Dan here telling me I should play full seasons. And I think everybody's right. How many? I think I. What is this game? Four. I have three. I, have, so I can't remember. Really st three, three stolen bases, I think, so far. It'd be nice to see how many stolen bases I could get in a year. Prime time. What a butt! That guy was due, dude. He needed a hit. Ugh. It's about time for some pinch hitting. Well, this guy's... This guy's done it before. Can he do it again? balls are the worst because it resets your runners. Oh. Oh, Richards. You blew it, man. You blew it. You can never catch me! Too bad I can't steal, though. Who's CD? Oh, you have Dion CD? Dude. I have the Joey Lawrence CD. Just in case anybody needed to know that about me out there. <laughs> whoa. I'll make him say, whoa. I don't think that's a real song, but... Dude, since we're talking about... <laughs> Wanna see some cool music? Let me tell you something, brother. That's the Pile Driver album wrestling <laughs> tape right there. <laughs> I think he's the guy not hitting well either, dude. I might be looking for... Look into the bench. We got my Hogan, got my Jake the Snake over here. Oh yeah, dude. I don't know if you saw. Yeah, I was showing off that game earlier. Well, that's who my big bat is. It's Jeff Conine, that's right. sounds cool though it sounds like um, I know I, I play uh, Tecmo Tecmo Super Bowl pretty competitively too and uh, I know they make some crazy like hacks and stuff all, all time hacks and all that stuff 
just makes the game a lot more fun because just all the players are better. Uh, is it is it just like a regular cart that you can get? That's a lot of those are pretty attainable. Some of those like hacks and stuff. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Mr. C, for asking. Oh, you son of a... That's cool, though. Ah. Yeah, see, that's cool. I, they... They make some cool carts like that. And it would be fun definitely to play with any sort of either updated rosters or like an ultimate team uh, or, or, you know, something like that. I'm sure in that sense that they probably can or do make uh, just like updated rosters, probably like a 2021 version, as well as the all all-time teams. Which would be awesome just to uh, play with some of the guys over, what is this, 1993, so... Roughly frickin' 30 years <laughs> of people we're missing out on. Oh, see, that's cool, too. That's even more. I, I didn't... I don't know why I didn't think about the last 100 years of baseball, too. That's, uh... That's cool that... Throw... Throw those other... We gotta do a favor, though. My grandpa pitched for the Pittsburgh Pirates, so we gotta throw him in there as, like, a reliever just for... Just for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, that sounds good. I, I don't know. It, it's fun to play some of that kind of stuff where you can get, you know, kind of a a, a feel that you haven't got to play. I'm I'm pretty excited. I have a few limited run games and and other things coming. That uh, I don't know. I'm just excited to. I haven't really dabbled with a lot of them. We've always just played, play them if you got them, type stuff. Dude, I would be interested. Like I said, this is one of our our all-time jams. I would not mind uh, getting on that. You like the competition card. <laughs> Oh, and Stokes. Who are we playing in San Diego? See, randomly, I think that they just lost uh, Benito San Diego, or Santiago. I think he's on my team. Oh, but it looks like they have a decent catcher. Robert Lauda. Absolutely, thank you, my mega friend, Mega Dan. I know we'll have to, uh, I don't know, does it, uh, have it, how does it have, like, the home run derby, and does it have any, like, additional people for that, or anything? That would be cool, too. We'll have to do some sort of, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Home run competition. I don't know. Something fun. It'd be fun just to uh, do some stuff playing that game. Our online virtual season. Alright, Grosby, are you the one that's throwing the no-hitter? The no-no? I know everybody met... Everyone that was here earlier got the good story I was talking about. I, I had thrown, uh... Ah! Four no-hitters in my life. Uh... In real life. And <laughs> the very the very first one I ever threw should have been a perfect game, and I ended up beating a girl on the... It was in Little League, uh, on the other team. It was like the last batter. And I threw a big hook curveball trying to be uh, flashy, and, and I nailed her right in the arm. <laughs> and uh, 
Ruined my perfect game. I never got a perfect game. <laughs> Oh man, dude. I know, that's what I that's what they said last time. I felt really bad. I just wanted to I just wanted a game ball that said perfect game. <laughs> Instead it just said no hitter and had an imprint of this girl's jersey on it. No <laughs> You're going to Target? I'm pretty jealous of you. If they have Brutus the Barber there, you have to buy him for me. Or call me immediately. Ah! Way to wheel it, crummy. Dude, I'm wearing a Big League Chew shirt. Did you? Can you see that? It's pretty faded, but I went all out baseball. I did not take her bigly chew, but I did probably earn a more free soda. Ow. <laughs> oh man. It's alright, I took some good shots. I played catcher in high school, so. I had my fair share. I got all the payback you needed. Actually, I played third base a lot too, so it's a rough one. Oh, why are you so slow? I'm on Stokes. All right, let's test out this catcher. Oh shit! Too fast. He has got a good arm too. Around in it. Oh shit. That is the bad thing about leading off. Oh god, it's scabies. I'm, I forgot San Diego. Good old Tony Gwynn. A beast. Is that the first hit I gave him? Nah. Who'd have figured Tony Gwynn getting hits? Right? Oh, shit. Get there, get there, get there. It's too late. It's right next to the toys. Alright, I'm gonna have to bring out some real pitching right here. Throw it home early. All right, Johnny Rotten. Oh, you son of a gun! I think what is this my fourth fourth or fifth pitcher or so it's definitely not my ace the good thing is I should have Al up next game Al Arocious yeah. pretty much yeah I'll probably be playing this for a little while I'm just addicted I could play Griffey for a good part of a day oh wow let's see what we got going on here uh hello
Alrighty, random phone calls. My apologies. I think I was just getting back in the game, or I'm about to, hopefully. Steven, Kelly, my man. Oh, you guys are, see? Man, you, yeah, the Cubs, okay. This is awesome. I'm glad that we have a lot of really good players here. Yes, I, um, Mega Dan, I'm sure it, he's put, I've seen him, he's a good player, he's put in a lot of hours. Uh, me and Mr. C have played and put in a ton of hours. We made a drinking game out of this in college. And, I mean, we just played, like, we, we put on a lot of hours. Uh, and, you know, just playing each other and all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, so, it's actually funny. You're, like, the third person today now that said something about playing a 162-game season. So, I put it on, like, a 27, and I think I've already played five or six of them. So, it's like, I might as well. I'll have to start up a, a big game. <laughs> but I was going some some of the sleeper teams, the Marlins... Uh, I used to play the, the Chicago White Sox a lot. I thought were like a really, really good single, a really good single game team. Um, but the Marlins are like my other pretty much like go-to team. They have some, some good statistical people. The Cubs, like you said, you can rearrange them to have one of the best uh, like defenses around. They already have like some some really quality people. Yeah. Like it's like what you put like Mark Grace, switch him over somewhere. Yeah. Bring, dude, there's, <laughs> I, that's what I, I pretty much with my lineup. All I had to do is switch the uh, the catcher and the third baseman. Ow. The Expos are uh, are an awesome team. To uh, yeah, with especially the single game roster, dude. Pedro Martinez is, is pretty good, and then they have all that offensive like Moises Salu, Larry Walker, uh, Delano De Shields, Marquise Grissom, Rondell White. They just got like this whole crew of people. The Orioles aren't bad in this. They're kind. They're a little slow. Uh, they got a decent a few a few pitchers and. They have one of those guys who has like, I think it's their catcher or something, but he has like one of those random one, one year miraculous season. So he's like super good in it. <laughs> he has like an eight or nine power. I totally believe that. I hadn't gone that far, but the Cubs were always one of the teams we used to. Uh, do like single game elimination we'd each pick like four teams and do like tournaments uh, single game elimination style and uh, the Cubs would always be it was pretty much uh, both like Chicago ah shit both Chicago's Florida and then the Cubs if I could uh, or not the Cubs but uh God, who were we just talking about? Oh, the Expos. Or maybe the Expos are the Braves. I feel the Braves were just, like, classically good, though, but they weren't, like, great. The Rangers were, like, the cheap. Them, the Blue Jays were super cheap. Look at all these power hits there, man. Yeah, well, in, especially in, uh, if you talk season two longevity, they have, like, one of the deepest benches. Oh, shit. Uh, and they have, like, probably the deepest, you know, pitching staff. Honestly, if I had to play a single game, dude, I always rely. It's it's Mr. <laughs> Jack McDowell there from <laughs> uh, Chicago. He just, like, he throws that 102, 103 until, like, eight innings in.
They have a pretty solid defense. They got some some heavy bats. In fact, my first game, I played a warm-up game, and it was awesome. I was trying to get back in the swing of it, and I was down like 2 nothing. bottom of the ninth, two, two outs, and I think I pinch hit Bo Jackson, got a hit, hit a home run with Robin Ventura, and then hit a walk-off with Frank Thomas. It's a good series. It's a good series of events. Dude, Ron, I know. I loved Ron Gant. Uh, he was one of my favorite Braves, in fact. If you're a uh, baseball fan, this is another one of my... This is probably like one of my favorite um, PlayStation games. Baseball-wise, I love the Polygon-like stuff, but I loved Ron Gant. He was on the Reds in that game. But I still... I just loved him. I picked the Reds just to be him, even though they weren't... They weren't all that great, but... They were all right, though. Ah! But yeah, dude, Fred McGriff, Dave Justice, all those guys. They do have... Terry Pendleton is on here, though, which is cool. No, yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Terry Pendleton's on... on uh, he went to here on the expansion team. If... <coughs> if I remember. But I'm not 100%, because Terry Pendleton was another one of my favorite. What, like a switch hitting third baseman or something? Alright, we gotta bring in... Where's the man? Richards. Shark. Billy Idol gets it. How do they get a batting sub before I even get to sub my pitcher? gets it. Yeah. Alright guys, we're approaching those time. I got my man up though. It really is a catcher I could steal on, but... Played a lot of games where a lot of people have tried to pick me off. <laughs> Whoo, that was almost risky business. Alright, Vogel. Ah, come on, baby. man though. Ah. That's not good going into the ninth.
rally caps coming up here. Dang there, Johnny Rotten. All right, guys. Dang it. Not good at all. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I lost. You know what that means. <laughs> You'll know what that means. Take a loser's shame shot. Loser. Guys in here trying to strike me out. Oh, he did strike me out. What a bummer! What a jerk. That was fast. Sorry to my my main man too. Ruining his incredible average. I always love a good challenge. This is my first uh, my first round back in, in a while, but I always was able to hold my own. But I like the encouragement. <laughs> I know. It gets it's rough. That's what I think the, the no-hitter had always alluded me to, because it seems like no matter what, they can always get that one, one hit or one home run or something. Ooh, we're back to LA. Mr. Interior. Yeah, my swing timing's been a little off. I used to know there's like a bunch of tricks we used to have, like not moving people. Ah, blocker. Uh, you know, bottom of the box guys, top of the box. Like I said, it's been a while, so the swing that that's those are like timing mannerisms that you learn, you know, know over time. It's funny, one of the guys I'm doing the best with so far oh, is a uh, a guy that he, uh, it's not even like, a, he's like my seven hitter, but he has that swing that it was just always easy to get hits with him. Plus I don't have the strongest hitting team.
power drive. Chuck Carr, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. Son of a gun. It's true, I'm definitely not finishing. <laughs> So you can get all of those. I get the stick back down. I think that this is the baseball, best baseball game ever. I mean, I, I am actually a fan. I played a lot of, um, I played a lot of simulation style baseball games on the Sega and stuff. So even as a kid, I was, you know, big baseball fan. So uh, played a lot of that, but nothing really compared to this. The kind of that fast arcade play, and and you still get that all that major league feel and stuff. So. This game has definitely aged <laughs> far better than anything. So I was like laughing when I put it in at the faded picture there, kind of a joke, because uh, we went on a vacation and we always played this tournaments and stuff group back in college and uh, we, we forgot it somehow and we had to have it so we went down to like a local store and, and just bought it for, you know, it was like a used store, we bought it for five, six bucks 20 years ago or something, but <laughs> so we had to have two copies of it and this is, this is one of them and I fucking suck right now it's been a while since I I think it's, it's been a while since I used this team hitting wise, and I forgot how they just don't have the the big sticks. Like they're diff they're different than having the big forty home run guys. <laughs> What's happening, Eli? I I had some. I mean, of course, I played the uh, the first like. I think it's just called Triple Play, or maybe it's Triple Play like 96 or something like that, but uh, that on the Sega Genesis I thought was one of the one of the better simulation games that was playable, it had like a great create a character, you know, style thing. Um, I don't know, even one of the, one of the later Griffies isn't bad. The one that has like the lock on, like maybe the N64 version or something? Or is that just winning run? That one's actually better. Whatever the one that has like where you can lock onto the ball and the locations and stuff isn't too bad. Oh, oh, dude. I That's what I. This one right here, uh, I brought it up a few times. Bottom of the ninth. It's all kind of super polygony and and stuff, but I always had a lot of fun uh, with that game. I, I thought it was pretty cool. It had like hot and cold streaks, and it. I can't remember if you could move around and stuff, but it, it had like a, a pretty good feel that wasn't like super, you know, locked in simulation. But 
Uh, but still, you know, it was like, it was, a really, it was a good game. I had a lot of fun playing Seasons on that, from what I remember. I mean, it's been a long time, I guess, since I played it. I just recently reacquired that one. Yeah, definitely. Like, I don't know. It, it was it was tough, because that's why I was actually surprised it was uh, the that triple play card I was talking about. It, it randomly had quite a bit of memory, and it would do... It didn't really import like rookies or anything, but it was like you could do multiple seasons and and create people, and it would uh, just give them statistics based on the name you put in. Uh, and it, it had some really cool features, and uh, the fact that it kept information and records and all this stuff was like almost groundbreaking. But yeah, it was pretty pretty basic, you know, in what you could do comparative. I think some of them are really bogged down. I remember like Tony La Russa and a bunch of those games where it's like you have to w warm up the pitchers and if you forget them for more than like a couple batters and then it like tires them out and all this other stuff. It's like, what? I'm trying to think. The Tech Mobile on like PlayStation isn't too bad. I, I mean, I like all the original ones a lot more, but. Uh, it was a decent game. Yeah, I don't know. I still, I think I played a lot of the. I guess I played some of the nine eight nines and then some of the triple plays for that that era PS. Probably be something fun like Slug. But I, there's there's probably some awesome awesome games that I just haven't ever found. Just missed that. Get that next run back. Little some, some st strategic <laughs> ball here. See, that'll be good in, uh, if, when I go back and play a longer series, too, because when you play, like, a bad catcher, you can really, really <laughs> grind out the, the steals. Oh, really? Then I'm glad you're here and in for a treat. This is uh, on the Super Nintendo and one of our favorite games of all time, one of our favorite baseball games of all time. And it sounds like it's a lot of people's fade, so, you know, it's a really good quality game.
Snelling wants in on the action. But yeah, I suggest if you if you ever it's a good game to pick up if you have the ability to play uh, Super Nintendo Baseball. Grab it. frame here. Oh, shit. Just like that. Bring in the gusto. Ah. Uh, see, that was bad defense. Eventually, I'll get back to where I can make all of those catches. Did I go back? I go back on it. With your. <laughs> I believe that you can beat me. I'm not playing 100%. No, I didn't know if they're, they're, uh, are there cheats for just the regular old version of it? I, I had no idea. I know Dan was here talking about the, the mega super version or the hack, the hack with like the cool guys and stuff. That sounds kind of fun too, to get some of those like additional, uh, characters. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't personally know any. Uh, any cheats or anything. It'd be cool if they had some sort of. I can see some some super cheats or something. That'd be cool. <laughs> Blazing speed or or just speeding up the game or something would be kind of crazy. It's already pretty fast. Nice victory there. I guess I should have looked at my stats, but I gotta go grab a charger. I think we got my man pitching. So we're going to definitely do one more game here. Oh wait, now. Yeah. So I can't remember. I, I <laughs> Either way. We're good to go. We were hoping that. Uh, we had heard different things. Because, um, yeah, we're hoping that, that it gets released. We really want to jump on some uh, of that new wrestling. But you guys sit tight just for a second. I'm going to grab a charger so you guys don't lose ya. Sabi.
line for a minute with this game. I'll just kind of ramble. Hopefully I answer your questions. <laughs> Thinking about switching. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's get some steals. Who are we playing? Houston? Dude, one of the worst things too is playing against him uh, in a human on human setting is Um is that you can't like adjust I don't think you can adjust the off you know anything like in this so nice so pretty much you're screwed based on how well you bunt it <laughs> Worse than pop ups and foul balls. In fly, infield fly rolls. Jeez. I would have been better off just bunting, bunting my way around. Doing the bunt fest. Come on, crummy. Oh, I was hoping for an everybody safe. Dude, that was kind of a weak arm. I might have been able to steal on that, baby. here to the two spot. This guy is not getting it done here. Look at that. You gotta just talk some smack to him. Smack. Double done. Too much leading off. Dangerous Danny Davis. to make some sort of announces. I'll, maybe I'll finish this season 
or something, and I don't know. I don't know if I should just start over and play a season with the Marlins, or if I should do take my talents down to <laughs> Baltimore. I'd like to play one with the Orioles. Maybe I'll do an online vote. I feel like a couple of my buddies and stuff, so I think Dan did one with Chicago. I think my other buddy did one with the other, like the Cubs, Chicago. Braves are kind of cheating. Texas is cheating. Toronto is cheating. I'd say Pittsburgh because of my grandpa playing for the Pirates. But that's not a good year for them. But I don't know. They got some quality people. are always fun. They, they got a pretty good roster. Anybody has anything to say about any of that? I stab it with my steel and knives, but it just can't kill the beast. Oh, dang. Sit, sit, boo boo, sit. Good dog. Man, someone hit a five, I don't know who it was. Someone hit a 500 foot home run earlier. I was just thinking back to that. Good old Mr. Kniff. That's my only hit I gave up, that stupid dang home run. Monster Bunt! The Monster Bunt! Maybe Ken Caminetti on third base for the Houston back then. Uh, I forgot it was a tied game, to be honest. I shouldn't have been playing around like that. I needed to score right there. Gower, dang it. Screw you. 
you, Craig Biggio. Son of a gun. Craig. Come on, Abercrombie. There you go, baby. My oh, man, dude. That's why. See, he's one of those guys, though. I think if I move him up to two, he won't hit anymore. He has to be in that seven spot. Dude, I really like this shortstop, though. Might be able to move up in the lineup. He really turned it around. You gotta get back to when they don't show you the cursor. You gotta start making those catches. That's when you know you're back on your A game. Dude. That would be really cool. First of all, that would be really cool if they made an AEW game. That would be awesome. Dude, I have that Destroy All Human Games, and that is a great game. And welcome back to Z, dude. That uh, if you're talking, that one Griffey is an awesome version of Griffey. Is that the one where you could like locks on and stuff? I think there's two different ones on N64, and they're both all right. On, Lauda. You're gonna be replaced soon, Lauda. Dude, Jeff Kine's been pretty solid. See, actually, I think this is freaking like someone crazy. One of them is Charlie Hayes, but it could even be Bobby Bonilla or something like that. I think he played here for like a year. Oh, stupid. I guess it didn't matter all that much. You don't impress me much. Stupid dead chat. Uh, I guess I got a few seconds on it. <laughs> Dude, I miss a... Oh my gosh. Well, that, I guess that goes that stream. Well, I just, uh... Hit, hit my unfavorable Super Nintendo, so it's been fun, basically. Uh, we were going to start up a 162 game season, we won't do that right today, but now that that happened, let's do a home run derby, because that's a bummer. Well, I'm sorry about that, guys. Nick Noat. Reset hit, dude. That was like right on the button, man. So we'll, we'll just play this kind of mellow out uh, in the stream. Think about picking up a new team for uh, a, a long term. But no, this is it's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Especially in this, I had a guy, he used to be notorious, he would hate, he wouldn't want me to like shut him out so he would turn the game off. 
<laughs> like, before it would finish, so it's like he never lost. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a good one, man. I I was waiting for I was waiting for me to kick it, and what actually what's funny is that uh, I dropped a cord on top of it, and it like I can't they made it that long, but oh well, maybe it might have saved some of that. Sometimes that erases the season. We'll see. Definitely a lot of fun though. Dude, pulling, yeah, the controller pulling it and like is like was always one of the worst. Oh, he's just sitting here jacking home runs. Oh yeah, it was it was a fun one. I was glad that there was a couple different things I wanted to play and I just really couldn't decide and I wanted it to be like lazy kickback kind of uh, style so you know we went with something like this super classic super super fun but I feel like I'm never gonna get to bat How come mine just says National League and his says Ken Griffey Jr.? Like, Ken. Shouldn't it be AL? I'm calling shenanigans. Everybody grab a broom. I need a big old dab, make some tri-tip. Watch a good old flick. Is there anything else cool to show off? Got some other cool stuff too, it's just, it's kind of all spread around. Oh, come on. Go foul, go foul, go foul. Oh. I was gonna say, actually, 10 isn't that much. He might catch. Oh, I got this. I got this. We'll win a home run derby, maybe. <laughs> it looks like we're a little bit behind. Oh, I should have been more. Not a good start. Mustard. Nick, no hot. Oh, it was way too early.
Dang. Now you know I'm going to miss it by one. Ugh. Nope. Fall flat. Womp womp. Well, that was fun, guys. Thank you all for hanging out with Brothers Forge Gaming Easy, all the fun stuff, everyone that stopped by, awesome, dude. We had such a great uh, mix of people coming in and out. You guys all rock, couldn't do it without you. And, uh, you know, love the love for Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball on the SNES. So definitely look forward to me starting up a season. Uh, we'll see how good we can do. Maybe we can do, uh, you know, get some really, really, really good statistics and have a good year. Sounds like, like a fun way to uh, end in the, you know, the baseball season and stuff like that. So, so thanks, Eli. Yeah, Dizzy, Mega Dan, James. We had them all there. Stephen Kelly, you're awesome. All you guys, Mr. C, of course. You guys rock. Rolando was there. Uh, uh, could, you know, great fun, great fun. So we'll see you next time on Brothers Forge Gaming. As always, take it easy. Until then. <laughs>